I brought home a customer's riding lawn tractor. It's a D120 John Deere. This is the one you saw in a previous video that Dawson and I serviced. I serviced it for the past few years. Um, he used to take it to the John Deere dealer in town that went out of business. And so he was looking for somebody that did it. And I said, I'll do it. You know, I do mine. I do other people's. Do my mother's, whoever's. A couple other customers. So I said, let me take care of it for you. And then um, he got injured. He had a fall. And my son took over mowing his property with this. And what he noticed on it was when you get on and off when you tug on the steering wheel a little bit that this whole thing moves here and what happened is the brake fell off the brake lock and so I got looking at it the hoods loose here something wrong with the front of this too see everything's loose on it let's see if I can fix some of this stuff but the real thing is where this goes on, this moves up and down, rides in this track, but the plastic's broke, and I think it's from tugging, getting on and off from it. So, let me show you, see this? Now, if you look on the opposite side over there, there's no cracks, but this side's broke all the way around. See the daylight? And if you lift it up on there, it'll stay in place as long as you don't move it. So I either have to epoxy that, if it would work. You can still see a crack down in there. Um, I was thinking about drilling holes and put zip ties and put the lock on the inside. That might be a good idea. It won't be very attractive. Um, I've got one of those electric heat staplers, but it's right on a seam. And I'm not sure that'll work. I'll see if it will. Where you can uh, heat up and put one of those staples in it. And then I got thinking that, well, the hood shuts on it. So there's a little pressure on that. But see, the whole thing will move. And with it unhooked off from here, it's hard to steer it even because the whole thing moves around. So um, I thought about maybe I could put a metal brace by going maybe for this metal bolt from the frame coming up through with some kind of bracket if that would help i don't know if that would work um it's a little different than my craftsman there's metal in there and there's nothing in here for support seems like a a weak design but he's had it for years he likes it it runs great we're just going to keep it together so we're going to try to fix this so follow along here and let's see what we come up with like i said if i drill holes and put a whole bunch of zip ties every inch it would probably do the trick will not be attractive the homeowner doesn't care he just wants it to stay working and um, to buy one of these pieces I tried looking I haven't found one yet I'm sure if I could get one from a boneyard if I just I don't know if I can get one so I want to do the quicker repair I got a little epoxy I could mix on it's uh, five minute stuff I think and let me get out some tools, see what I can come up with here. What I did before bringing it home is I went online and I ordered the brake lever. I probably could glue the old one, but it was the tabs are broke. And this should lock on there. And that's also a weak design, it's off on one side. But that should line right up and push in and click. I don't want to do that yet because then I'm limited to what I can do behind here. So, at least I got that part so I can fix it. Because right now, you can't get off the machine while it's running. And everybody doesn't tell you the story. But it's possible that this broke previously. Maybe he caught his knee on it. I don't get all the whole stories. But uh, maybe it was in gear. I don't know. Maybe he stepped off from it. Let the clutch out. It pulled. He pulled on this. And this broke off. And we got to do something here. And so let me go see what I got for epoxy. Let me get some uh, plastic ties. I'm going to read that epoxy and see if that would work. I decided to use the plastic welding gun, they call it. But it's a stapler, you know. A lot of people have them now. 
I think I'm going to try this first. It's a less intrusive than, um, say, you know, zip ties or something. I'm going to plug this thing in. I put a little straight wire, I guess you call it, instead of the Ziggy. And I think this might bite up into there better. I might start right here on the outside corner. Heat it up as I go and see if it'll sink into there. See how that's going in? Meld it right in there. And then let off. Let it cool a little bit. I don't know how long it'll cool, but yeah, there we go. Now, right away, let's see if it's better. It's still got to cool a little bit, but I want to hold this together tight. And then I, I'm going to put another one in. I'll probably be doing, I don't know, six, eight of them. I don't know. I'll get a few out here. They're target practicing across the street. Seems like the days I want to do a video and I'm outside, they want to practice. Usually they start around 5 o'clock on a Tuesday and they'll do it for an hour or two. Good time to go have dinner or something. But it's early today. It's not even 3. I had a couple hours. I said, well, let me get this tractor fixed, get it back to the customer. They want to mow the lawn. This time... I'm going to go across this seam right here, turn it the opposite way, probably right there, meld it right up in there, and look on your backside, make sure there's nothing in the way. See how red hot that gets? Get it in there a ways, like that, let her cool. Might have done that one too long, I don't know. But it heats pretty fast. They're only 50 watts. Chinese brand. But I'm breaking a lot of plastic, or I, I shouldn't say I'm breaking a lot of plastic. I seem to have to fix a lot of plastic lately. And I'm trying different types of um, epoxies, and they're expensive. They are. They're expensive. And uh, let's see. I don't know if I want to put the same type in there. Let's see how well they did. Oh, they're really good. No kidding. They are really good. So now I think what I'll do is I'll switch styles. And I'll put in the uh, zigzag one. I can find the right one over here. And I'll put these in. And they might do pretty good. I just wanted this one in and out of the way and I'll clip each side probably. You clip off the tangs. See that W? Like my King Ranch logo. I'm going to try this one now and see how well that does. If I drop it here. I think this customer will be real happy if it doesn't look intrusive and it works and I spent a few minutes on it. I didn't want to do it down at their house. I didn't want to bring a bunch of tools, and if it doesn't work, they watch me do it. I just wanted to try to fix it myself when I get a minute. And Dawson doesn't need to mow that property for, I don't know, probably a few more days because we're almost in a drought here. Now, I'm sinking that out of sight, and I'm going to stop. I'm not going to go all the way through this time. Let it cool. Check that out. And it didn't go all the way through. Nope. And then I'm just come back through and I'll take them snips and snip them off because you don't want them hit your leg. If you're mowing your foot's here, legs here. I'll do another one right next to that same crack right here. cool this may not cure it you know permanently but 
might be the cheapest way out. I'll pull that out. Now I'll get my little snips and snipper off. Get rid of all these little wires. Get them real close so Dawson don't hit his leg on them. And I'll use a magnet make sure they're not in my driveway. You can use these to fix your four-wheeler. Any kind of plastics normally that break. I probably should have put that other style right here. I might put one right over top of this one. Probably the smart way would have been to go on the inside, take this whole thing apart, do them from the inside, but I think this is going to look fine. I might just take my sander and go over that and smooth that plastic off. But I'll sit up here and maybe your foot's not even over there. You're going to be out here with your foot. Your knee's going to be up here. Might be fine just to not worry about it. I think I'll put one right here at that junction. That seems to be the worst spot. Put one like right, like right there. These heat up pretty fast. Let that cool. Pop the piece away. Snip these off so it doesn't interfere with the hood closing. Check that out guys, that thing is strong. So I think I'll do one more back here. I'm almost to the rear of the crack. So you just put them parts right in there. If you can't see, probably you can see, but you just put them in there like this, slide them on down till they sort of stop like that. Press it up into there. Well, they're really shooting across there. Get it right on my crack. That doesn't sound right. Get it right on the crack. Line it up in the center. Get her hot. Let go. Let her cool. Slide this off. Make sure it's cool enough. If it doesn't release, just let it cool a second. And then... Maybe I'll move the camera around here a little better. You can see it. And look right in. It's that crack is right, right there. And I'm on both sides of it. So that's cooled. The crack goes, I guess it goes quite a ways around here. So maybe I'll keep doing that. It's starting to get down at the seam. So I'm going to go up on an angle a little bit. All right, now I'm just going to snap these clips off, get them real close, and then I don't want them to be poking anybody. I run a magnet around my driveway here, I don't, so we don't go barefooted, I don't step on anything. I had to change angles. The crack goes horizontal, then it went down underneath this part, so I tried to tilt it going upwards. And it looks like this may work without me using any epoxies. I got a total of 10, 15 minutes in it here. I got these pieces. I don't know what they cost. If I am individual. I just bought this kit. I probably should have done the video on the kit. Maybe I will. But, uh, well, that's not really very sharp at all. But I might take the grinder and just touch that instead of the sander. But the grinder, just get this rough plastic off. Let me show you on this side. The first one, this style, come through, which is going to give it added help. Now this brake lever, 
just sits in there and goes up and down. And if you want to look behind it here, that's where that crack is. Let's see here. You can see it. Get on the right angle. You can't quite see down in there, but I think it did a great job. It looks like it's going to work. Now let's go ahead and take our our brake lock and put it in there. And that should just snap in place. I shouldn't have to do any adhesive on it. Line this up. Hopefully there's no damage on the rest of it. Oh, I gotta go in here, there we go. And then it should snap, right? Let me press the brake down. Does it come up higher? I think it's fine. I'm just going to go ahead and snap it on there. A hold for the back. Should click like that. It's on. Now, there's these little parts. I used, I don't know how many I used there, 10. And I think this thing works great. This is a plastic welding gun, model H50. It's a 50 watt Chinese. Comes as a kit. You get a pair of snips which this isn't the one, the other one's in a bag still. Just like this, it gives you four bags of these little parts, these little welding clips, and uh, gives you a knife. Probably trim off your plastic, which I'm gonna use a grinder on. I think it'll do a better job. And let me get this stuff out of the way. Put them back in my parts box. And then, let's test this breakout. First, I'll test the hood. I'm not sure I'm all done up here because there's something else. See this shroud's moving. Looks like that's unclipped up here. All right. Something's unhooked over here. Let's see what's going on with that. But that's not what I want to work on yet. What I want to do is see if this brake works. So we'll close this up. That fits good. Now before. When I grabbed this steering wheel, back you out, you can see it here. That when you go to get up on the unit, the whole thing would flop off to the side. Now you can probably pull yourself up. That part number is a GX23146. That part can lock lever from John Deere. I think it costs 17 something. And let's see, push your brake in, pull your brake lock up. Hey, it's not going to roll away now. Let's give it a test. Got to have your brake in. Look how nice this thing runs. It's got 308 hours on it, and it's about 10 years old or something. Anyway, so let's try our brake lock. the holes, right? That's a big guy. So now, I think I'll tackle the rest of this job. We'll see what else is going on here. So, the hood's a little floppy. Probably from that moving over there, yanked the hood over there. I think there's something down going on down here too. And the hood will lift up like that. Looks like a little pin broke off here. I don't know if I'm going to worry about that now because if the hood's closed and the hood stays open, you know, I think we're fine with that. But this I ought to worry about. This moves around a lot. This other side fits way up higher, so way up in there. So let's see how this goes. Yeah, it's got to go up another inch. And this fits in behind here. Well, how are we going to do that, guys? It's got to go up another half a mile. I don't see the tabs on this side. 
So they gotta fit down behind this thing. Yeah. So you probably have to flex it in the middle. It's a lot like my lawn bagging buckets. You gotta flex them to get them snapped. They hurt your fingers. Let's see here. So these two got to go there, so the distance is another quarter inch is all, like that. There we go. What that'll do is square that hood up now. Oh yeah, don't flex. Ha! Huh, there we go. So we got $17 in parts for the brake, and I uh, did purchase this thing not only for this job, but for the other jobs. I got to fix some plastics on some air cleaners and things. The, uh, this is that part number for the John Deere part. This is the 50 watt plastic welding gun. Comes in a little carrying case and it gives you, uh, you know, these bags of bits. Probably have to order some of these later and see how much they are. Probably not much. Unless Harbor Freight has some. Probably they do. And then just pick them up and uh, it'll be ready for my next job. I think I can probably do about 10 jobs with the amount here for the average break in plastic. So, yeah, this is a fix on our D120 John Deere. The homeowner should be happy. I'm going to deliver it tomorrow. i got to go down and get some more materials for the next job. Follow along. We're going to be doing a, uh, uh, a deck, a small deck on a home people are trying to sell. They don't live in it. And then uh, it is a little better than the last job. What we got is uh, a small six by six deck we're gonna do. And then we've got a, a long set of stairs. We're gonna take it down to a concrete landing. So some of that is we're gonna make as we go because I don't know the uh, exact riser height yet. But follow along. We'll see you guys on the next one.